So you are going to need to start with a placemat because this is going to be a messy process and you're going to get a sheet of paper cut to the correct size and you want to draw something fall like on it. So I drew an acorn but notice I am just doing the basic outline of this acorn. I am not putting the details into the shape. Basic outline. That's what you want to start with whatever it is you are drawing. From there, you will get a piece of styrofoam that is the same size as that paper. You lay the paper on the styrofoam, and using either a pencil or a pen, you are going to trace over your image. And I want you to press a little hard, not too hard, you're going to like cut through everything, but you want to provide pressure onto that styrofoam so when you take off the paper, it is indented into the styrofoam. So what I typically do is I go around, I press hard, and then I take my paper off, and then I just draw directly onto the styrofoam and make sure it's carved deep enough. Again, you do not want to carve through the styrofoam. You just want it deep enough that you can feel a texture change because that's going to matter to get a successful print. So you can see now I took the paper off, now I'm just going back and doing it directly on the styrofoam. And it doesn't matter if the ink is coming out of your pen, all that matters is you are getting the grooves into the styrofoam. That's all that matters. Okay, next what I'm doing is I'm taking my styrofoam and I'm putting on a piece of construction paper. And I am going to just draw little lines on the corner of the styrofoam. So like a horizontal or vertical on every corner. Um, that way I know where I need to print each time I print because I'm going to be doing multiple prints on the same piece of paper. Okay, and here is where we get to have some fun. So I am going to get a bench hook out. That is that metal thing to my left. And it sits on the corner of your table. And you're going to grab some ink. So I have actually a big jar that I'm using. So I'm scooping out some ink onto the bench hook. You might just have like a squeeze bottle of ink. And I'm using what's called a brayer. That's the roller. And I roll that ink until the brayer is covered. And you want it to start to sound like sizzling bacon. It should have a crackle to it when you're rolling the ink. Once you hear that crackle, it's good to go. And so you are going to roll ink onto your styrofoam plate and you want to make sure it is completely covered. You might have to do two coats. And from there, we will make a print. So I am lining up my styrofoam plate on those little lines that I made on the paper, laying it down. And there's two options here. You could either just leave it like this, take a clean breaker and roll on the back of the styrofoam. That is fine. However, sometimes that bothers me because there's like some wet ink that gets on the back of the styrofoam and you can accidentally roll it onto your pretty little frame that you made there. So another option is just to take the whole thing, hold it together, flip it over like a quesadilla and roll your clean brayer on the back. And then that way, if ink gets on that side, it's no big deal. So you roll, 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 if you want to make sure there's pressure and that's what helps transfer the ink. Peel the plate off and there you go, you have your first print. Okay, so we need to use that styrofoam plate again, so we do have to clean it off. You can use a wipe or you can just spritz some water and get some paper towels and clean it off. I will say you must do that delicately. You do not want to break your styrofoam. So rub it all off, rub it all off, and dry it off because we're going to do another print using the same plate. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little more details to my acorn. So you can see I grabbed my paper, my original drawing, and I'm starting to add details on that because, again, you know, if you make a mistake, you can always erase on the paper. But if you do it directly on the styrofoam, you can't really erase that. So I'm just playing it safe by doing it on the paper. I know I could do this directly on the styrofoam because I do trust myself. But for those of us that might be a little nervous, we do it on the paper first. Put the paper back onto the styrofoam and do that whole process, right? Now you're just going to be tracing over the new bits that you have drawn. So I'll be doing a little top of the acorn and some of those lines in there. And next, what I'm also doing during this um, stage is I'm going to create some designs in my background space. So for this design here, I just decided to do kind of like hashtag um, 
cross hatching marks all over the place and that's going to be my background so you can choose how you want to design that background space. Okay, from here I'm ready for my second print. So I am going to use a new color this time and it's going to layer on top of this yellow. So I do have a new bench hook. You could just rinse off your first one, um, but for the video I just have a second one because I didn't have time to rinse off. So to rinse, rinse off a bench hook, you again just spray water on it, rub it down, you can even bring it to the sink. So I'm using um, an orange for my next color. And I'm going to do the same process I did before. You want to roll it till it sounds like bacon, and then you roll it all over your styrofoam. But now it's going to look a little different because I have more designs. Okay, so it has been rolled, and now I'm ready to do another print. So I will gently pick up my styrofoam. It will get your hands a little messy, and you want to line it up directly on top of where your first print was. Again, those little lines do help you do the same process. I'm flipping it over. I have a clean brayer, and I add pressure to the back of that paper to get the ink to transfer. Once I feel good, flip it back over, peel that styrofoam off, and you will see what two layers of color look like for your print. Okay, it's time to clean my styrofoam again. So give it a good wipe down, and this time we're gonna do a little something different for our third print. So really wipe it down, dry it off, and then you're gonna need some scissors. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to cut out your subject only. We wanna get rid of the background. So I am just cutting out the acorn, and I'm cutting a little on the outside of my original line. Um, so very, very gently do this process and then we will just use that as the plate for our final print. So I am just drawing on a few extra little lines just to make it a little different from the print that came before. So just a little more texture marks on the top and a few more lines on the bottom. Okay, and my third and final color, you want this to be your darkest color of all of them. So I chose a black, you could, you know, a blue, a violet, whatever. Um, and you do it on a clean bench hook, so you might have to clean your bench hook. And you are just going to roll directly on this little guy. And you can probably know what's going to happen next. You will print this on top of where the acorn is on the other print. So again, very carefully flip it over and lay it down. And this one's going to be tricky because you're going to notice when I flip this over to run the clean brayer on top of it, what happens is the ink is still wet. So some of the ink got removed onto my placemat because I wasn't thinking. Um, but you know what? It ends up looking cool anyway. But you could just roll the clean brayer on top of the styrofoam without flipping it upside down. All right, once you feel good, you peel that off and you will see that just added a little more dimension and focus to the subject matter of the piece. I like that the black is a little faded, so it's not too harsh. And there is your print. Okay, so here is another print I made, the little pumpkin. Same process as the acorn, just a little different style, a little different colored paper underneath. Um, so the cleanup process. To clean a brayer, go to the sink and put it under the water and rub your hands all over it till the water runs clear. To clean a bench hook, you can also go to the sink, but we know that can get crowded. You can just spritz it off. You can see what I'm doing. I just sprayed water using paper towels, wiping it clean, and then that way you can dry it off and it is good to be stored back where it belongs. And here you are. Here is our fall printmaking assignment.